Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. I'm so proud of you, and I'm looking forward to this next chapter in your life. I love you both so much, Paul and Ash. To visit us, we had a long conversation. He said, Dad, it's not like I never had a girlfriend. But you know what? It's okay with me if I never get married. I'm okay with that. That only lasted until he met Ashley. It was over, that whole thinking, <laughs> real quick. Surprise! <laughs> I had a little suspicion. <laughs> This the day when he starts his new life with Ashley. It's never an easy go when you choose to marry such a strong-willed woman. As we come together to unite Paul and Ashley in marriage, we'll take a moment to remember God's purpose and meaning in marriage. In marriage as instituted by God, Paul and Ashley will covenant to live together in a lifelong and exclusive partnership of love and trust. This relationship will serve biblically as a symbol of the union that is found between Christ and his church. And therefore, as Paul and Ashley marry, they share a common commitment to the Lord of life, Jesus Christ, as they enter that marriage. <laughs>